In this video, we are going to deal with cuts and fits. I have a couple of members on the subject which I have created. There is two beams and a plate. To create a plate, what you have to do is go to the steel menu and then uh, pick up the plate profile and click uh, at uh, three points or four points. One of the things which you have to take note of, especially with the members like columns and beams, say this is a beam, there are two handles to that. One is a yellow handle and the another one is a, a pink handle. The yellow handle is the first point where you click, that is the start point, and the pink handle is the second point where you click, that is the end point. So let me create another beam here. And uh, if I select that, you can see the first point is yellow, second point is uh, pink. Now let's do a line cut on this beam. So I go to edit, line cut, select the beam and select two points across where I want to cut and that's the line where I'm going to cut and click at the part which I want to remove. And that part is removed and now if I turn it around you can see a little element here which is created which is a representation of the line cut object let me do another cut on the same object so I go line cut select that same object pick another two points and remove this portion so now we can see that that particular beam is shortened again and the original cut is here the new cut is here. Now let me delete the original cut. Nothing happened. And let me delete the new cut. See it came back to the original line, original cut. Now let me delete that cut as well. So now we can see it has come to its original shape. Now I'm doing a couple of undos. So these are the two cuts. So I'm going to move this uh, cut. So I'm going to go move spatial linear I'm going to move it uh, along this X direction by say 200 millimeters and move is applied to the cut this because the cut is selected now and you can see that object is uh, getting shortened so the object got shortened so now the cut has uh, disappeared because it the screen got redrawn so if I go delete that object and undelete you can see the cuts came back because they are attached to the object uh, if I delete this cut nothing happens but if I delete this cut the beam comes to the original shape so that's you have to experiment a little bit with this and uh, understand how it works now let me move this uh, cut in the positive direction so I'm going to move it by 100 okay so uh, first of all, let's see where the handles are. See, the handle uh, for this beam is here. We have cut the beam up, up to here, but the original handle is here. So I'm going to move this cut now. Move. So you can see the the length of the beam has increased, increased, increased again, increased again, increased again. See, now it doesn't increase because the handle was here. Now the cut is away from the handle uh, or rather the cut is more than the beam length so it doesn't increase the length so if you have using any line cut cut has to be within the beam and the shortest cut takes precedence of the over the previous cut now let me do a line cut on on the plate so I select the plate line cut select the plate and click two points and remove that portion select the plate click two points and remove this portion select the plate select two points and remove this portion you can see the behavior you will have to experiment a little bit and find out what what happens with all these line cuts now let us check out fits fit works nearly very similar to line cut but they are different 
So, let us do some uh, fitting part end. So, click on that one, select the part, two points and it has shortened. Now, if I go do that again, select the part, now I am going outside here and you can see the length has increased now. First cut was here, now the second fit is here, so it has increased. Now, I do a third one. Shorten again. See, you should be only doing one fit to one end. Don't do this type of thing on uh, when you are actually working. You create a lot of problems. Do only one fit. I can also do a fitting cut much beyond the handle. See, the handle is here. So if I go and select that and do a fitting cut here, you can see the part has now extended beyond the handle. Now this doesn't happen for a cut. Now, let us uh, do a cut and then try to do a fit on top of that. Now, I am going to do a line cut here. Remove that part. Now, I am going to try to do a fit in this portion. Already there is a line cut here. So, let me go fit part end to here. And see, it does not extend. Why it does not extend? It does not extend because there is a line cut here. It is already shortened. It will not override the line cut. Be careful when you are doing this type of thing. Normally, you should be only one cut or a fit. It is not recommended to have a line cut and a fit which totally changes the length. Fit is normally used for extending or shortening the beams to a length. Do not use it for extending because there may be problems while creating a NC files. That was a long time before. I don't know whether they have uh, fixed that problem. But it is not recommended to create a fit to do something like this. It is not recommended. That's Another thing to note is that when you are doing a fitting you are only selecting the part, then one click, two click, and there is no third click to indicate which portion you want to remove. It is automatic. How does it calculate that? Uh, to demonstrate that, I am going to put a point at midpoint of this beam. So I go to points, online, one point, and pick the end points and get a point in the middle. Now let me do a fit, go fit part, select here and I am going to the side and fits there, undo. Now I am going to do a fit on this side, select that part and here and it removes this part. So you can experiment with that and find for yourself how this behaves. So I do another cut here. See how it behaves. So you have to experiment with that. Fitting cut works only on beams and columns. So let us uh, try to do a fitting cut on a plate profile. So fit part, select that one and I am going to do a cut. It does not, it does nothing. So it works only on uh, plates and beams, basically elements with uh, two handles, which is a yellow handle and a pink handle. But if you select this one, you can see more than two handles, a yellow handle, which is the first point you click. Uh, may not be the first point uh, and then a uh, lot more handles. It does not work on such parts. To demonstrate polygon cut, first let me put a few points uh, on uh, this plate profile at any point and see 3, 4 and the 1 and 3, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now I am going to do a polygon cut on this plate. So, I go polygon cut, select the plate and then I am going to select these points. First point, second point, third point, fourth point. Now to, to indicate the end of the input, I am going to click the middle button and see that uh, there is a cut created on that part. Now let me do that on the this set of points. So, polygon cut. Select the part, select 
first point, second point, third point, I am going to end it and undo. So again, select the point, first point, second point, third point, fourth point, middle button to end the input. I am going to do an undo, polygon cut, again, first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, middle button to end the point uh, input. I got a few other points here. Let's uh, try uh, using these points to do a polygon cut. So I'm going to go polygon cut, select the point here, 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 middle button to end the input and you can see the shape of the cut. You have to experiment again by yourself to see the behavior of how this works. Now let us investigate uh, the path cut. To do that, first I am going to create some paths going through this uh, plate. So I am going to put a column here. So that is one column. Change the profile to D100. So I am going to go here. D100. Well, if you can't get this dialog box up front, double click this icon. Double click and this dialog box will come up and type in D100 and then click here and you can see that that is a 100 diameter uh, column going through that. This part now goes through this plate. We can use the part cut using these, these parts. We can cut this part using this part. It should intersect or we can even cut the column using this, but that doesn't make any sense. So we're going to cut the plate using the column. So let's go to edit, tracks here, edit, part cut, select the object to be cut. I'm going to select the plate and then to cut with, select the part to cut with. I'm going to select this column and it must have cut. Now to see it, I just have to delete that column and you can see that it has uh, created a cut there. Then let me do with that uh, with the round column. So part cut, select that and select this one and it has uh, created a cut. Let's delete the original column and you can see that cut. Redraw the screen, select uh, the in an empty space with a View, view is selected, you can see that by that, right click and redraw and you can see the cut element has disappeared and you can see the cut. 